Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a musician and composer. And what's the deal with kazoos? Instrument, toy, birthday party goodie bag handout, tool for emotional expression. Most people don't consider the kazoo to be a musical instrument, but it is. Specifically, it's a membranophone, meaning that it makes noise by vibrating a stretched membrane here. The vibration is caused by the player humming into the end of the kazoo. At first glance, you might think the kazoo is an aerophone, like a flute or a French horn where air vibrates the entire instrument, but that's not the case. The most common types of membranophones are drums, so the kazoo is definitely the black sheep of the membranophone group. But has the kazoo ever been used for any serious music? Well, I was curious, so I did some research, and the answer is yes. Some sources say that the first kazoo was invented by a man named Alabama Vest in 1840. This probably isn't true. We don't have any proof of this, like a patent or any other legal document. Herbert Frost was the first person to patent the instrument name kazoo in 1883. The patent is available online. To all whom it may concern, be it known that I, Warren Herbert Frost, a citizen of the United States, have invented a new and novel toy or musical instrument of which the following is a specification. So it's pretty apparent that Herbert wasn't thinking of the kazoo as the next elite instrument in the musical canon. He does refer to the kazoo as both an instrument and a toy every time it's mentioned, so the wording could be put there for legal reasons with the rights of kazoo. But still, I've never heard a French horn be called a toy before. But just because the kazoo came from humble beginnings doesn't mean that it can't rise to greatness. The kazoo was widely played by amateurs because of its low learning curve, but jug bands and comedy groups did use the instrument regularly and professionally. The kazoo was also used throughout early jazz in America and Europe. The original Dixieland Jazz Band, which was the first group to record jazz music commercially, features a kazoo solo on their version of Crazy Blues, recorded in 1921. In the classical canon, both Leonard Bernstein and Charles Ives have used kazoos in their compositions. The 1961 musical How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying has a passage written for kazoos where they're imitating the sound of electric razors. The kazoo also pops up in various film, talk show, and video game soundtracks. So the kazoo is definitely used more than I thought, but it's never quite the star. It's usually used for a specific sound effect or hidden in a more dense orchestration. I thought if there was no music written for the true power of the kazoo, maybe there was a virtuoso kazooist who was pioneering the sound in other repertoire. This led me to Barbara Stewart, a classically trained vocalist and professional kazooist. She formed the group Kazoophony, made up of entirely kazoo players, and was called a kazoo virtuoso. She's played venues like Carnegie Hall and on shows like Late Night with Conan O'Brien. If anybody knows the true power of the kazoo, it's Barbara. In 1983, she published her book, The Complete How-To Kazoo, and I bought it. After reading through the entire book, I feel like I learned a little bit. There are a few pages that lay out different articulations and sounds you can make on the kazoo, which was definitely useful. The book was very fun, which was great. The author definitely had a good time writing this, slipping in jokes and overanalyzing things that don't matter. I'd buy it again. So a lot of the book was dedicated to jokes and having fun and stuff, but there were also a couple chapters about developing embouchure and different articulations you can do on your kazoo. I've got my kazoo here, so let's try some out. First page I bookmarked was about articulation. Because of the delightfully murky quality of kazoo sonority, articulation and clear diction are of the utmost importance to the kazooist. We've got an authorized list of acceptable sounds and articulations to practice on the kazoo. So right there. That's exciting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, glorch. Uh, that's exciting. Snam. Snam. Okay, that's kind of cool. The S sort of sound stays. A lot of these sounds sort of remind me of vocal scatting techniques, which is really interesting because we're using our voice for the instrument. Yeah, we've got pages here on double tonguing, which is exciting. That's like a brass or woodwind technique you would use. You can tell I don't play brass or woodwinds. 
So the book definitely got me inspired. I've seen videos and read articles where people say they can get the kazoo to sound like other instruments, like a saxophone or a trumpet, but that's not what I want to go for for this composition. I really want to try to make the kazoo stand out on its own merit. With that being said, I think I want to tackle something in a New Orleans style jazz tradition, right? That's where jazz music was said to originate, so I don't know how much further back we can get with that. And they said that kazoos were very prominent during that time, so why not play to strength, right? All that's left to do now is write the piece. So I'm starting to put the notes into Muse score, and I do want it to be known that they, in fact, have a kazoo instrument available. So good on them. All right, so I've got the entire score written out. It's here on my iPad. Now I just need to record the parts, mix the track, and here is the finished product. <laughs> So I'm super happy with how the song turned out. It was really interesting to see how the kazoo interacted with other instruments. Like the book said, it's got sort of a weird gray, not really sure what the pitch is tone, which you would think would be not very blendable. But with multiple kazoos in the texture, it actually sounds pretty full. A nice wall of sound is happening, and I think it turned out really well. <laughs> but what do you think? Do you have a new passion and want to go out and buy a kazoo? Would you have been happier skipping this video? Let me know in the comments below, and hit subscribe to know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching.